Alright guys, in this episode of Two Barefoot Hippies in our van CJ for the Wonderlust Van Lifers uh, blog, uh, we are going to extend our bed. Our last little test trip that we did, we realised that ideally the dog wants his dog bed so he's got a comfort of home. And we're kind of soft like that, we want to let him have his comforts, we love him. So three, well two adults and a dog on this bed, which is not a pull out bed, um, just a three quarter bed, isn't ideal. Now both of us are kind of short asses, so we can lie perfectly this way, but we want to do it so this front of this bed here actually pulls forward um, on lats and it get, allows us to take a cushion then and lay it across here and then we can lie lengthways and it also can create a bit of storage on the far left hand side as well, just for things like toothbrushes and things like that. So that's what we're going to do next. I think you can see this right now, this is where I keep all our spare stuff. So inside of here, I've got all my car stuff at the front here, I've got my spare table at the back, I've got all car stuff, tow stuff, emergency breakdown stuff, everything's at the back of there, right where the engine is. So what I'm doing now is I put the original front of the bed back on so it's solid now. So I've got this guy secured in place by the bottom, from the sides and all the way around the frame so it's actually solid inside of there. Now the idea is I've got this smaller wood, this lighter wood, to which I'm going to actually make the pull out part which is going to come forward. Um, and I'm thinking it's not going to be too much, it's not going to be too far, probably maybe about here. So this seems to be about the length to where I'm going to have the bed extend out. Right. Well that is the front of the bed frame, partially built anyway. Um, I've got to adjust it slightly, I've got to chop a little bit off the end of there. Um, but what I've had to do, I've had to cut a section out of this point here. You can see that, I just saw the bed frame, the way I've built it will run smoothly. So the idea is, is that guy will be against this guy. I'll have wooden lats running across this. And what I'll do, this guy will slide out. You know, give us a much longer bed that we can place a cushion over the top of. So that's the, uh, that's the idea behind it. it. Looks quite flimsy at the moment, but once all the wood is on the front of it, the panel is done and stuff like that, and the middle brace is in, it should be plenty strong. And there we have it. Next, it's going to have to get some paint on it. Like I said, a handle and some things to help pull it in and out. But apart from that, it's pretty sweet. I'll put a bit of fascia on it and I'll dress it off as well. And then we'll put the boot case back on. So the next stage is what I need to do is basically do some nautical rope handles. I've got some nautical rope here um, that we've got cheap from the range, I believe. It was quite cheap, it was about £1.99 or something like that, or 3 or something like that. Basically, I'm going to put some nautical rope handles in the front of our bed. So on the front bit, we can literally lift it and pull it back. And that will allow us to be able to pull the bed out easy for when we want to go to sleep. Let's see the next part. Just thread them through. Go back. This time again, you're going to get roughly a hand's worth of cord and then pull them nice and tight and then do what I can to put the knot as far down in the back of them as possible. So I'm going to move the knot down inside them and then just test them for the hand out there. And that way I can pull them tight now. A bit more. And there we have the handhold. So now, cut the section off. Now the important thing is here, not to cut too close. You, you want to leave a little bit of tag. Um, if you cut too close, the knot can come back out. So now we'll leave a bit of tag on there. Sharp Stanley blade, just watch your fingers. And that's him done. So on the bed build, what I've actually done, um, I've heightened up this wood that I rescued from one of our old um, outdoor tables. Um, and basically I've just used it as a, an area to stop the mattress from coming forward um, and put them in place with some L-shaped brackets. Obviously we've finished it off with the seagrass handles. Now I'm adding the front of the bootcase. Now this bootcase is really simple to, to build, as you can see. It is a chop of wood, both two pieces same size, one piece on there, L-shaped bracket in each corner. And then we're gonna take the um, pine cladding 
and that will literally go over the front of it and build up the small boot case which is just a pouch where you can put a few magazines little bits and pieces and it really does come in handy when you're on the road and stuff like keeping it to z in there other little bits and pieces you just know where they are so yeah if you want to do this super simple easy as that that is the whole setup right there So the bed extension's complete, so it's really simple to use. So you just pull it out, that's the extension. Have some extra foam on the bottom. So once you've finished using the bed, just take off the extension mattress, use it as a backrest. Lift up the bed, push it back. That's it. All done. It's bed complete.